he's he's a soldier, so he's he's constantly talking about yes, sir, and thank you, sir, and copy that. He just needs to relax. He just needs to chill. So we're just doing this, bring him down that path. So we decided we're going to take him cliff jumping because humans on this planet like to do things like jumping off into a body of water from a strange rock. Not knowing what's in the water, but he's going to do it with us. We're going to make him jump off this cliff, which is epic. The Amazing Paddle Adventure at the San Francisco Golden Gate Have made Sept more excited to continue his plan of paddling around the world. For the first time, he will be going out of state to the north. As he approached his destination, he excitedly started calling paddle shops and outfitters in the area. But unfortunately... Thank you for calling. Due to the forest wildfire... Wildfires. We are close for... We are close for the season. We are close... We are close for the season. We call us back next spring. Or email us if you need a refund. the West Coast wildfires, something that he witnessed again on the way here, have impacted all the local outdoor businesses in the region. Something he never anticipated. Unbeknownst to everyone, Sept has been battling anxiety attack for quite some time now. Something he doesn't want to talk about. his coping mechanism driving away for hours Willamette River is one of the best places for paddling. Going south to downtown, we'll pass through several distinctive bridges that define the city of Portland. 
today's paddling comprises an eight-mile ride from Cathedral Park to Ross Island. This guy pops up, he wants to uh, go kayaking out here in the Northwest. And I turn around and this guy's got this goofy looking mask on. And yeah, he's definitely not from here. This guy's from somewhere, I mean, a galaxy or something, I don't know. Been in doubt for a tour on the downtown Willamette waterfront today. The bridges in downtown Portland are, are really iconic, kind of just its own special flavor. Launched right there at Cathedral Park, you got that beautiful St. John's Bridge with that old Gothic style to it. So when I met Mr. Sean Ollinger, he initially treated me as a soldier that I am. Perhaps because of the way I replied to him. Like, sir, yes sir, copy that, affirmative. SEPT 0229, conditions out here. But he eventually started talking to me the way he talks to other humans. He basically told me to just relax and enjoy the ride. So I am. Didn't fall off his board. I was kind of wondering a couple of times, had some boats go by and it looked a little tipsy, so he must be making some progress there. As we continue with our paddling, I saw things that are quite unique on this planet. So there's this metal truss bridge, looks old, but it does the job well. I also saw things similar to what I have witnessed in my travels from different planets. Some of the homeless shelters people have built out there over the years are now looking out over the river. I mean, they got free riverfront property. to the downtown waterfront. The huge shipyards, got a Navy ship in front of them, getting refit. They had 900 foot tankers and, and dry bulk carriers tied up to the shore. Going all the way to the 405 bridge. Uh, it's just it's a double decker bridge. It's you know, 400 feet in the air. It's incredible. So, as we continue heading south, Sean and I saw fantastic sceneries along the way. We saw cool looking boats. Went into a maze of pillars. We also crossed the Wyoming that river several times. We even saw a military boat in a submarine. I normally salute them, but I'm here as a chilling paddler, not as a soldier. We also 
get to wave to some fans on the river. see some of the wildlife. There's actually quite a large gaggle of geese. Uh, Canadian geese probably stopping for a rest along the Willamette on their way south. Uh, it's the season for them to head out. Some, uh, some ducks out there. A seagull out there being a nuisance. It's refreshing to see lots and lots of wild animals on this planet. Unlike the wasteland that I normally see on my past travels. As we approach the downtown area, we pass through more and more unique bridges. So yes, we passed through yet another trust type of bridge, probably one of the oldest bridges here. The bridges in downtown Portland are, are really iconic, kind of just uh, its own special flavor. Uh, you got the really neat steel bridge, uh, vertical lift. Burnside Bridge, uh, built in the 40s, I think. Morrison is the next one, uh, built in the 60s, I think. Hawthorne Bridge. Which was built in the teens or 20s. Hawthorne and the Steel are, are pretty much the oldest bridges out there, and they're just really iconic, specific to Portland. And then they finally have this modern design bridge near the end of the downtown area. passing through the Bridge of the People, we decided to have a quick crest. After that, we're heading back. Because of a possible toxic algae on the island lagoon, SCPT-0229 and Sean decided to skip the Ross Island area and heads back north. Apparently, the health of the river is currently being monitored by the local entity, at least according to their local sponsor outfitter. So the Willamette River has a, a long history of uh, overuse pollution from larger industry and a lot of the, the initial uh, industrial startup um, and energy uh, to the Portland area. And there was a time when the Vatican River was not a pleasant place to want to be in or around. Over the past few years, there's been a big movement uh, to clean up the Willamette River um, and, and and bring it back to being more usable and uh, and healthy. Um, one of the local organizations here in town, the Willamette River Keepers, 
Well, River Keepers really exist to educate the public about the water resource we have right in the middle of our city. Uh, and a long history of industrial pollution has really been at the forefront of their efforts. In addition to finding more access to the river for the public, uh, they've also been making great efforts to clean it up to make it safer and uh, available for us all to recreate in. Uh, over recent years, the Lamb River Keeper has really dil diligently been monitoring that and uh, calling out industries. Guided tours and, and classes out on the Willamette River, um, trying to raise awareness. Due to their efforts, along with other organizations, so people can swim and there are a lot of kayaking and floating events celebrating the river now. So it's a come a long ways. There's a becoming an annual event called the Big Float, um, which participants uh, bring their own uh, float tubes, air mattresses, uh, kayaks, canoes, all sorts of craft, and they uh, they make their way as a big, big silly procession across the river. From the moment. SCPT-0229 walked in the door. I could tell he was on uh, an adventure, uh, kind of from a different world. I've heard that you're the best in town. Yeah, hey, what can we do for you? Do you have a paddle band suitable for me? Oh, I got just the thing. This is Trooper Compatible. Fantastic. Came in obviously on good direction that, that we were the best paddle shop in town. Uh, and we got him set up for his adventures out on the White Salmon later. Wish him all the best on your uh, on your documentary adventure. Uh, spreading awareness to local rivers. It's, it's super important work. After the exciting paddle at the Willamette River, Sean is taking SCPT to another waterfront to get him accustomed to more relaxing paddle activity. So we got set up, I briefed him to go somewhere else um, here, Scapoose Bay, uh, for just this reason. It's nice and quiet. And mild and uh, he can start de-stressing here. Uh, he's, he's a soldier so he's, he's constantly talking about yes sir and thank you sir and copy that. He just needs to relax, he just needs to chill. So we're just doing this and so I'm trying to teach him, bring him down that path. This relaxing paddle We'll take them from the marina down to the narrow canals of Bryce Lake. I come here to Scapoose Bay because of this. It's, it's quiet. It's just there's not a lot of people out here this time of year, especially, and it's just really relaxing. Sean is such a mellow type of person. He has this zen-like aura whenever he talks about his journey and paddling in general. So normally, I just tend to listen. Kayaking is just a natural progression of downsizing as I get older and, and, uh, and it's just really relaxing. Uh, surprisingly, it is not that strenuous if you're just looking at the sights, enjoying the view.
Scappoose Bay has an incredible variety of waterways. Canals out here, there's sloughs out here that are barely any wider than your paddle. You can go from here all the way to the what, one of the top five biggest rivers in the country, three miles away, the Columbia River. So the uh, wildlife out here is pretty remarkable. It, uh, you paddle right up, go right over the top of a big old carp. You know. There's uh, bald eagles, golden eagles, every kind of songbird you could ever want to see. Uh, um, blue heron, the great blue heron, is, thrives out here. Kayaking is just great exercise. I'm, I'm, it's incredibly healthy. And uh, I'm fighting a losing battle here, but kayaking's helping me win a little bit. I actually lost 10 pounds in three months. Paddling at Scapus Bay had greatly thought SCPT how to really relax. And what better city to finalize his carefree learnings than the entertainment capital of the world? After enjoying his carefree night at the strip, it seems like SEPT has gotten too laid back that he forgot his discipline. He was like an hour late, so I don't know what his time travel is on his intergalactic watch, but it didn't work very well. I am so ashamed for coming late today. As a soldier, I've never been late before. We're at Lake Mead in Las Vegas. We're a man-made lake. Hoover Dam was built, and that's what created this beautiful body of water for us.
These places out here have different coves and it's just absolutely gorgeous all the time. Fortunately, Katie and her friends are super cool. I get to paddle with her to the cove. As well as her friend Sharon and her dog Fifi. I even met Katie's alter ego. The Dino Paddle Chick. But there is one strange thing that they introduced to me on this paddle today. So we decided we're going to take him cliff jumping because humans on this planet like to do extreme things like jumping off into a body of water from a strange rock. Not knowing what's in the water, but he's going to do it with us. We're going to make Sep jump off this cliff in just a minute, which is epic and he needs to do it. Sean. Uh, my name is Andrew Romanelli. 
Hi, my name is Katie. My name is Alex Lons. I've been uh, coaching here in the Portland area for the past 11 years. I like wilderness survival. I like relaxed time out in the, in the woods. I'm a special education teacher here in Las Vegas. I, I like to do coaching, uh, get, getting people introduced to the sport. I like time on the water. I'm a family man. That's that's my hobbies. That's what. I and I work helping kids with disabilities get jobs in the community. And uh, guiding folks out on their own adventures um, on the Willamette River, the Columbia River, uh, down on the Clackamas River, uh, which actually just burned uh, tragically in a fire. Well, Sept really seemed to. Uh, Sep really seemed to relax today. Uh, noticed a real loose, they loosened up a lot. And I'm a paddleboarder for a couple years and I have a women's group. We call it Sep Sisters and we take everybody out on the lake and teach everybody how to paddle and enjoy our wonderful lake that's right here. Um, then out on the Washougal and uh, the white salmon, as well as going all the way up north to the San Juan Islands and up and down the Oregon and Washington coast. Sep sent me a strange intergalactic message through my school district email, and I was not supposed to open strange emails, but I did for some strange reason. So we met, he was like an hour late. Uh, I don't think I heard a single sir from him. Had some laughter actually laughing. Um, definitely acclimating to the different environment. Will later be past. The order is rapidly fading. And the first one now will later be last. For the time they are a change.